gaps in the realm of health and well-being. Mental illness is a maze, complex and uncharted, with unprecedented impact on humanity. Like the enigmatic nature of the mind itself, mental disorders present a complex challenge to medical science and societal structures, given their significant prevalence and diversity of manifestations. Our current study will be concerned with understanding aspects of mass prevalence, a phrase that conjures up associations with a pandemic. However, instead of a contagious disease of the body, we are dealing with conditions that are deeply rooted in the human psyche and form an invisible but pervasive pandemic that affects millions of people in the social, economic, and cultural spheres. Let's take a brief look at some of them and maybe we'll see ourselves on the other side. And to start our strange marathon, known to all, depression is a common mental disorder in which a person experiences feelings of sadness, loss, or anger that interfere with their daily activities. A depressive episode is characterized by a worsening of mood and loss of interest in any activity for most of the day, almost every day, for at least two consecutive weeks. Next is anxiety disorders. People with anxiety disorders react to certain objects or situations with fear or even terror. For example, weather conditions, the noise of traffic or large numbers of people in a room. Anxiety disorders include generalized, social, specific phobias, and others. It is not uncommon for people to have bipolar disorder, also known as manic depressive illness. This is a pathological disease of the psyche in which the patient regularly alternates between two affective states or phases. For example, the person constantly looks excited and cheerful, cheerful and ambitious, talks a lot and very fast, gesticulates vigorously, may fixate on certain ideas, or on the contrary, the person constantly looks sad, tired and sluggish, may show unreasonable anxiety, moves very little, reluctantly and slowly, speaks rarely, speech is slow and quiet, he has to spend more time thinking about questions and formulating thoughts. Pauses between words and phrases are lengthened. Difficulties with concentration appear. Illusions of grandeur is another of the strongest mental illnesses in which a person overestimates his own importance, personal qualities, and abilities. Particularly inherent in some political figures, both in the past and in the present time, the main manifestation of such delirium is inadequate behavior corresponding to the role of a famous, rich, brilliant, but at the same time endowed with power. The patients express ideas of their own omnipotence, high purpose, confidently considering themselves saviors, kings, and even gods. Tracking syndrome known as manic disorder of the psyche, a condition characterized by abnormal, constantly elevated mood, as well as mental and motor excitement. Patients are usually thin. Shorten sleep duration to the point of insomnia, which is not accompanied by drowsiness and fatigue. Increased libido and persistent tachycardia. In severe consequences, suicidal thoughts, maladaptive behavior, and obsessive thoughts, up to hurting someone can appear. The psyche is easily shaken by psychoactive substances, alcohol, lack of sleep, too much work, traveling, and even falling in love. So be careful what you wish for. Schizophrenia is a chronic and severe neurological disorder that affects a person's thinking, feelings, and behavior. Schizophrenia is a very common mental illness worldwide. It is characterized by perceptual and thinking disorders and is divided into three main forms. Paranoid form. It is characterized by thinking disorders, inadequacy of emotions, and a decrease in their intensity. The disorder is accompanied by verbal delirium. The hebephrenic form is the most malignant in adults. It is characterized by manifestations of foolishness, behavior peculiar to the child and inappropriate hyperreactivity. Patients suffering from this form can laugh for no reason and then at the same minute behave aggressively, destroying everything in its path. And finally, the catatonic form. It is characterized by significant impairment of motor function. Patients can stay for a long time in an unnatural and very uncomfortable posture. They understand words, commands and requests, but only refuse to respond to them. Complete immobility can be replaced by fits of excitement, rash and very sharp actions. And so we have sorted out the types of this disorder and can proceed to the main symptom. They are divided into five types. Auditory hallucinations and schizophrenia are the most frequent productive symptom of the disease. At the beginning of the process, they are mostly singular and manifest themselves in the form of voices. In the beginning, a voice appears in the head whispering comments on the person's actions and thoughts, calling him or her by name. 
sometimes the voice can, as it seems to the patient, reads the thoughts of others, giving hope that there are superpowers. Often the voice is aggressive, scolds or orders to do something. Progressing, the disease provokes the emergence of several voices. They not only discuss it with double force, but also talk among themselves, swear or even argue. As a rule, vocal hallucinations have a negative coloring, but sometimes the patient gets used to their presence and even begins to talk to them. Glacial hallucinations and schizophrenia are not as common as auditory hallucinations. They are vaguely pronounced and inconstant, flicker in fragments, similar to visions, in schizophrenia resulting from substance use, flashbacks occur. A person can also smell odors that are not really there. These are olfactory hallucinations. For example, to feel the smell of corrosive gas, paint, mold, or even cadaveric poison, and a person can suggest to himself that he was poisoned, but tactile hallucinations and schizophrenia are unlikely, but still happen, and are felt in the form of burning, tingling, or blows. Sometimes, the patient says that he has something under his skin or someone pinches him. There are ideas of embedded chips in the brain or a camera that can view all the organs through a special scanner. A person can also smell odors that are not really there. These are olfactory hallucinations. For example, to feel the smell of corrosive gas, paint, mold, or even cadaveric poison, and a person can suggest to himself that he was poisoned, but tactile hallucinations and schizophrenia are unlikely, but still happen and are felt in the form of burning, tingling, or blows. Sometimes, the patient says that he has something under his skin or someone pinches him. There are ideas of embedded chips in the brain or a camera that can view all the organs through a special scanner. Surprisingly, there are a lot more people with mental health problems than you think. It is quite possible that you will meet them today, on the subway, at work, or even in your apartment. And moreover, you may find yourself trapped in a mental trap. You think that's unlikely? Here are some statistics. In 2019 alone, one in eight people on the planet, that is a total of 970 million people, suffered from a mental disorder, with anxiety and depressive disorders being the most common. In 2020, with the COVID-19 pandemic, the number of people suffering has increased manifold. According to preliminary estimates, in one year alone, the prevalence of anxiety and major depressive disorders increased by 20 sign in 28, Despite the availability of effective prevention and treatment methods, most people with mental disorders do not have access to the required medical care. However, regular exercise, a balanced diet, sound sleep, and mindfulness practices can all complement professional treatment and help improve overall mental health. It is important to remember that mental illness is not a flaw or weakness, but just one aspect of the health of a fragile member of the human race on planet Earth. Take care of yourself and your loved ones.